In this video, let's learn about the concept of template refs. Basically, refs make it possible to access DOM nodes directly within view. For our understanding, we will take a look at one of the more common use cases, which is focusing a text input. For example, if we have a login form, on page load, we want the username input field to be focused. Let's see how to achieve that with template refs. I'm going to start off by creating a new file in the components folder. template ref dot view. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet vbase CSS to create a component. Let's name the component template ref. In the template, I'm going to add an input element. Input type is equal to text. I will import this component in app component. And add it to the list of components. Finally, I'm going to add it to the template. Now, if we save the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see an input field. What we want to achieve is as soon as page loads, this input field should be focused. Well, we can do that in two simple steps using the template ref and a component lifecycle method. The first step is to add a special attribute on the input element called ref. Ref is an attribute in view which is used to register a reference to an HTML element. The syntax is the ref keyword and we assign a label to this attribute. Let's call it input ref. All right, we now have a reference to the input element. The second and final step is to call the focus method on this input element. And the place to do that is in the mounted lifecycle hook. So after name, I'm going to add mounted, which is a method. If you can recollect, this method is the place to access the DOM. But how exactly do we access this input element? Well, in view, a component's refs can be accessed using a special $refs object, which is a component instance property. So in the mounted method, this dot dollar refs. This is followed by the individual element reference, which in our case is input ref. So dot input ref. Now that we have a reference to the DOM input element, we can call the focus method on this element. So dot focus. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, Refresh and our input should be focused on page load. Now one point I would like to mention here is that we have placed the ref attribute on an HTML element in the template. However, it is also possible to place a ref on another component as well. Let's quickly look at an example. In the template ref component, Let's add the post list component as a child component. Post list is a component we had created a few videos ago. So import post list from post list dot view, add it to the list of components and include it in the template with a ref attribute. Post list ref. Now in the mounted lifecycle hook, Let's simply log to the console this dot dollar refs dot post list ref. If we go back to the browser and refresh the page, we have the reference logged in the console. Expand the target, and you can see that we have the child components that is the post list components, data properties, methods, and the instance properties. 
So, if the ref attribute is used on a plain DOM element, the reference will be that element. And if the ref attribute is used on a child component, the reference will be the component instance. All right, that is pretty much the basics of using template refs in Vue. It helps you register a reference to an HTML element or a child component inside your parent component. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.